Dave Clawson might be one of the most underrated coaches in college football. He took over a struggling Wake team and has brought them to four straight bowl games, winning three of them. Heights which Wake hasn't ever really reached outside of the few bright years with Riley Skinner at the helm. He's been able to do this with one of the most unique systems in all of football. So let's jump in real quick and try to understand what has made Dave Clawson so successful in his time in Winston-Salem. The first thing people notice about Clawson's offense is the unique way that they run run pass options or RPOs. They tend to ride the mesh point or the point where the quarterback is handing the ball off to the running back for much longer than other teams and even approach the line of scrimmage as they do so. This gives ample time for the quarterback to read the defense, but it also makes the linebackers commit to a decision. Look here as they get sucked into the mess of the line of scrimmage, which lets the running back win a foot race to the sideline. This also works to open up passing lanes. These linebackers are frozen in space, which allows the wide receiver to get downfield without worrying about linebackers getting underneath the route. Even if they're not running these long mesh point RPOs, you'll often see the running back stall in the backfield waiting to burst through any hole that presents itself. And these backs are as good as anyone in the country at reading these zone plays. Here, Christian Beal Smith sees the defense commit to stopping the outside zone, so he cuts back and wins one-on-one -on -one in space. On this inside zone play, the running back is tempted by this cutback, but he does the right thing and reads the leverage of his offensive lineman to get a good gain. Notice he's always following where the hips are pointing. They aren't required to wait in the backfield. If something opens quickly, they will attack it. And Beal Smith especially is really explosive if he's able to get even an inch of space. Now there is a downside to this style of offense. It also gives the defense more time to shed blocks and blow up plays. However good their running backs are, the guy that makes his offense click is quarterback Sam Hartman. He is the mold of what I expect from Wake Forest's quarterbacks. He's consistent, accurate, and he makes good decisions. Because of his reliability, they like to sprinkle in a fair amount of West Coast passing concepts. These are short route concepts designed to move the ball in consistent chunks down the field against any coverage. Here is a staple of the West Coast offense, the stick concept. The receiver's routes form a triangle, which stresses the defense in both the horizontal and vertical directions. Since this linebacker expands with the running back, it opens up the stick route for an easy completion. But when Wake really needs yards, they go to their best receiver to get it, Jakari Robinson. This is easily their most run third down play. They motion Robinson over in some condensed formation, and then they run a quick out to get him in space. The biggest struggle for this offense this year has been their pass blocking. If FSU can get some pressure and make life hard on Hartman, they have a chance to stagnate this offense. Now, the defense under Clawson is usually the weaker side of the ball, but they're still usually a solid group, this year included. They run a standard 4-2-5, and they run a lot of cover 3, meaning there are three deep defenders on any given play. That generally places a lot of pressure on this free safety to cover the middle third of the field by himself, but they do a good job of covering this. Watch as the safety is able to come from the middle of the field and help defend the pass to the sideline. They sprinkle in a little man free and in general do a pretty good job in coverage. However, their run defense is a different story, but not in the way you might think. Their interior line and linebackers are pretty stout. I especially like their defensive tackle, Miles Fox, who's a threat in both the run game and the pass game. Note, their run defense is vulnerable on the perimeter. They struggle making even routine tackles on the outside of the field. You'll most likely see FSU run a lot of tosses and triple options to try to challenge these corners and safeties to tackle in space. If you can threaten them enough, you can start whittling away at their coverage responsibilities. Here Virginia Tech threatened the perimeter with an outside zone fake, which forced the safety to come down for run support, but left the middle of the field wide open. Ultimately, Dave Clawson makes Wake Forest competitive year in, year out. They play a brand of football that's tough to prepare for and really places pressure on defenses. Their defense is solid and will generally keep them around in the game. This will be a good game. A better one than many FSU fans might want to believe. But I believe that FSU has a good chance of ending the season on a winning streak. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out next Monday for the Triple Option Show, where we break down this game and maybe do some recruiting talk. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks.